it's really a tremendous honor, especially when I see the list of prior award recipients. They're just fabulous people, people I really respect in the field, and I feel honored and humbled to have my name listed with theirs. There are a couple of ways. My career has been spent in one city, Pittsburgh, at two institutions, the University of Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon. And being involved in NAFSA has given me an opportunity to meet people from different parts of the country and different parts of the world to get different perspectives from institutions that are both similar to mine and different than mine so that I don't have an insular mindset. But it's also given me an opportunity to develop leadership skills that I've used to build upon as I advanced in my career. A few years ago, our former president asked me how many students had I worked with throughout my career. And I stopped and thought about it and realized it's thousands. I've issued visa documents for thousands of students and scholars and as I count up how many people have attended a workshop, it's hundreds. So you stop and think how many lives you've impacted when you think back and start counting things up. And that was an aha moment for me. I think for me, having studied abroad, working with students who study abroad and students who come to the US, I want international education to do what it has always done, bring people together, help us learn about ourselves, help us learn about each other, help bridge divides that sometimes set us apart. I would advise people to get involved, volunteer, go to local networking meetings, go to regional meetings, um, go to Advocacy Day. It's empowering when you start realizing what your voice can mean for others. And it gives all of us an opportunity to grow and learn, no matter whether we're first time conference participants or seasoned veterans such as myself. I think I would share is Madeleine Albright spoke about a minister of Japan who was her student. And none of us, well, few of us will ever be Madeleine Albright. But so many of us have helped the Japanese minister come to the US to make those connections with people like Madeleine Albright. It's pretty awesome work that we do when we think about it.